We do real-time artificial intelligence for predictive maintenance. We specialize in IoT data, and we deliver what you need to know when you need to know it. Predictive maintenance basically means uh, fixing something before it's broken. The way it's done traditionally, people go out and look at machines to see if they're operating okay. What we're doing is revolutionizing that in terms of putting sensors on the machines so that people don't have to go out and look at them and putting lots of different sensors on the machines so that we can get a signal way ahead of the machine breaking that there's a problem to be able to plan to fix it and make sure that there aren't unplanned outages or uh, failures or costly repairs. Even with the machine learning and data scientists that people are starting to employ in predictive maintenance, the limitations are they need to gather all that data in one central place. You have to have a data scientist expert pick out the right algorithms, train the algorithms on the data, and create this static model that helps you detect problems. It's very expensive. The experts are very expensive and hard to find. It takes a long time for that process to happen, and it takes a long time to roll out. And the problem is that the models that they're building are static, so you're always working with stale data. The key things that differentiate us are we're actually not a machine learning system, we're an artificial intelligence, and the system learns. One of the most important things that it learns based on the data that it gets is what normal is. Um, and we have what is basically a knowledge base of our AI's view of the world. And when new information comes in, it looks at all the information it's got and says, is this normal? Does this match a pattern that I've seen, a failure pattern? Am I starting to see the signals that precede a problem? And then it puts it in its knowledge base. And so we've got all these independent reasoning agents looking for patterns and building the knowledge base. And they can be doing this geographically distributed all across the world and cooperating. So when one of them sees a failure, they can alert all the others, here's a new failure pattern. This mesh of distributed uh, hardware that can be tiny microcontrollers to big iron in the data center, all working together is something that's unique to us. And being able to actually run the artificial intelligence on the smallest computers the size of a quarter is something we do that nobody else does. We've got customers right now, our biggest customers are telcos that are basically communication providers for the Internet of Things. Uh, that includes Orange and Stream Technologies. We also have customers in the pipeline in a variety of IoT verticals.